Well, each year, an organization based out of Baxter works to honor fallen veterans around the holidays. This year, 5,000 wreaths were laid on the resting places of veterans at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemetery in Little Falls. With this week's Community Spotlight, reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Thousands of people gathered at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemetery Saturday morning for an important tradition, Wreaths for the Fallen. We're very fortunate, uh, Wreaths for the Fallen, a nonprofit out of Baxter, Minnesota. Uh, they raise money every year through private donations, and then they place a wreath at every headstone at the cemetery. Earlier that morning, three semi-trucks arrived filled with Christmas wreaths. Over 5,000 wreaths were laid today, sponsored by families from all over the country. The memorial wreaths are made possible through donations by family and friends of fallen veterans. We get contributions from every state, including Hawaii and Alaska. And I've talked to some couples up in Alaska, too, and they, they, they just express their feelings how wonderful it is to know that their son is going to be honored today. The event brought out families of fallen veterans and also those who just wanted to show their support. Our parents are, are buried out here. It's just a great thing to see how many people really honor the veterans in the area and they may not have anybody out here and they still honor them. Wreaths for the Fallen started in 2006 when 50 wreaths were placed at the cemetery. And that increased to 100 and then 200 and each year it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The project offers families who may live across the country or close by to honor their fallen veteran. I think it's important uh, more that we just don't forget our veterans. Not, not that we have, but it's just one more way to show how much we appreciate the veterans. Uh, but also for the families, I think it's important. We, we do get a lot more visitors around certain holidays, uh, especially around Christmas. So it's just nice for them to come out and be able to, to recognize their, their family members. Through Weeks for the Fallen, veterans will always be remembered and celebrated. Reporting from Little Falls with this week's Community Spotlight, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. Wreaths for, Wreaths for the Fallen takes place every year on the third Saturday in December at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemeteries in Little Falls, Duluth, and Preston. We do have a couple more mild days ahead of us, but we are going to see a cool down later on this week. For tonight, clear to partly cloudy skies, lows down to about 20 with winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15. Variable clouds tomorrow, some of us some sunshine, some will have more cloud cover. Highs in the mid-30s, and then as we look ahead, we do have a chance of rain or snow on Wednesday. And then that cool down late this week, and we are watching the potential for some light snow on Saturday. Bemidji girls basketball, they snapped a three-game losing streak over the weekend. They look to make it two in a row tomorrow against DL. All right, well, have a great night, everybody. We're back at 10 tomorrow. We'll see you then. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.